Welcome back to Metro Morning Live. The Jackson State baseball team came up a bit short in their quest for the SWAC baseball tournament title. Joining me now to talk about the season is Jackson State head coach Omar Johnson. And coach, first of all, thank you for joining me this morning. Um, uh, the SWAC tournament it didn't go as, as you planned. Uh, you, you fell into the loser's bracket early. Just talk about uh, what happened at the tournament, coach. <clears throat> well, Texas Southern came out and they, they pitched really well in that first game. Um, actually, the same kid they threw um, last, last night in the championship game. Um, I think he was nine and three or something like that. He pitched really well. We didn't take advantage of some opportunities. Uh, we came out, I think, in the first, the second inning, we gave up four runs. And then kind of battled back. And then in the, the, the ninth inning, at all innings, we kind of didn't pitch so well and they took advantage of some opportunities. But then the next game, we came out. We pitched really well. We swung the bat. I think we um, ended up 10 run ruling um, Alabama AM. And then the next day, with um, with Arkansas Pine Bluff, we played well and beat them. And then it's the, that day is the doubleheader day when coming out of loser's bracket. Right. Um, and that that was kind of the push day. And then we turned around and had a 3 o'clock game. And mm -hmm. then we didn't play so well in that game. But the kids, you know, we, they're, they're, we're not pleased because our expectation is a championship. Mm -hmm. But I think some of the guys, we had two guys end up batting over 400. Wow. Um, I think Jesus ended up with 17 home runs. 60 something RBI, you know, so we had some guys that did really well individually. I know, you know, you're talking about how you had to play two games that, uh, that day. You, you beat Alabama and M, then you had, you, I mean, I'm sorry, you beat uh, Pine Bluff, and then you had to come back and play Texas Southern again. Did that take a lot out of the team having to play those two games like that? Well, you know, it, it's, it's not typical that we have a big break in between playing games. You know, most of the time we play doubleheaders, it's, it's a situation that, okay, we turn around and, and play right away. But because of that big break, you know, they should be prepared for playing that. We, we play 60 games this year. Mm -hmm. They should be prepared, prepared for every scenario you can possibly come up with at that point. Right. Well, Coach, when you look at uh, this season, how do, you, how do you overall rate this season for your team? Well, I think we're 34 and 26, something like that. So the, 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 the guys had a lot of success. I, thought, I didn't think we played as consistent as we possibly could. You know, well, we talked the whole season about the defense, and that was still one of our issues in the tournament. You know, when the one inning that things kind of snowballed on us, was a situation when we didn't make two plays. We didn't, you know, fill the ground ball, and then we didn't make a play in the outfield, yeah. and then they started hitting the ball. So wow. that's how it happens, though. You know, the, the, our game is a game of mistakes. That's why we keep up with how many mistakes people make right. because the team that generally makes the least mistakes generally wins the game. As you move forward now, you, you look at next year, do you, you think you have a good nucleus going into next season? Oh, we have. we Because we, most of you know, the bulk of our team was sophomore and freshman. You know, at, we looked up in that um, tournament, we had the bases loaded. We had a, a, a freshman at third, a sophomore at second, and a, and a, and a freshman at first, and a, and a sophomore hitting. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, those, all those guys are coming back, and they're good players. Um, but recruiting starts. This is, you know, the opportunity for us to start getting out and, and start recruiting. Alabama State had a really good team. I thought Texas Southern, to be honest with you, I thought Texas Southern would win that game yesterday because they, they played well. They put pressure on us. They did everything like some of our teams used to, used to do. We just right. didn't do that stuff this year as well as we've done in the past. What made Alabama State so good or what makes them so good? Well, they, they, they had some guys that could pitch and they didn't make mistakes. And it's always going always to come back down to pitching the defense. And that's the same thing in that game last night. They, they, they played well. I didn't watch the total game, but the, the parts that I watched, um, they, they caught the ball and they, they stopped Texas Southern from doing some of the things that they do because they, Texas Southern bunted with the bases loaded on us one time. So, wow. you know, things that we've done previous. but. That's how it is. You know, the team that, that, that's been there, that has the expectations are to win it, they, they generally do so. I know a lot of teams always talk about pitching. When you, when you look at recruiting, what's your, your, what's your target area? Well, right now, we're, we're pitching has got to be a priority. It's always a priority. But pitching, um, shortstop, um, probably another catcher and another outfielder. You know, but we definitely have to bring about three or four pitches in. Wow. What's the mood of the team, Coach? I know they had big expectations. Uh, uh, they, they had a lot of big wins this season. What, what, how, are they, how are the guys feeling right now? Well, some of the guys are hurt, you know, for the most part, because of the expectation. You know, we, we've had so much success here, so they, they expect to play for a championship. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that, that they, they feel that way, you know, because that means our standards and our program is moving in the right direction. You know, I, I think, you know, all of these teams, Coach, in the SWAC kind of took your lead. I mean, you, you guys have been winning the SWAC for so many years, and, and I know these teams knew that they had to compete to beat Jackson State. Um, do, do, you, do you see where the SWAC is getting better and better in baseball? Yeah, much better, much better. 
Um, I, I, you know, we didn't play Pine Bluff, but when we played them in a game, but we went out and scouted a couple games, and they played really well. We, uh, we obviously we had to do well to beat them. Though, definitely the way we beat them, but they 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 deserve to win the West. I thought they were that good of a team, but when it comes to the tournament, it, it's about what team plays the best, not necessarily what team is the best on paper. Because if you look at us on paper, we you know we have some pretty good numbers and right. really impressive numbers. I think we still lead in the country in in, in run score, but um, Texas Southern finished third, and they looked like the best team in that tournament this week. You know, so it, it, it's amazing how that happens. But that's how that's how baseball lives. Is you know it's, that's how tournament. Well, coach, you shook up the whole wide world a couple of years ago, beating uh, the number one team in the country. Can Alabama State follow in your footsteps? Are they that good to make some noise in the tournament? I think um, they can pitch that 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 well. Um, a lot of things have to go right for you to to to, to beat the number one team in in the country, obviously, you know, because it just don't happen that often. Um, but I, I think that they're going they're going to have a, a legitimate opportunity or a legitimate chance to to be successful in in a regional and. I'm on a, um, the, the advisory committee for the South Central region to pick the at-large teams. Oh. And I, that's when we have a phone call this, this morning. But that's one of the things I told them two weeks ago. I said, they can do some damage in a, in a regional. Wow. They have to be respected because they can pitch, you know, and that's what it's going to be about when it comes to those regionals. And because hey, everybody's going to swing the bat, but you got to get some guys to get some guys out. That, that's going to make a difference. Did the, did the SWAT tournament, did it, did it go? I mean, is it, is the schedule okay? Do they need to make changes to that? Oh, no, I think it's, I think it's perfect. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the old College World Series format. Um, you know, sometimes it's like the, the ACC and the pool play and, and the SEC with all these buys. They, everyone's trying to always tweak these tournaments. Mm -hmm. But the tournament is, is our absolute. Um, for the ACC, for the SEC, they, they, they can care less. That's why they started on Tuesday, and they'll throw the fifth starter. You know, just because that's the tournament doesn't have a large bearing on if they go to the regional or not. Most of the times, these guys are regional teams before they even step in the tournament. So basically, they're using the tournament to get prepared for the regional next week. So, and it'll be the teams that are in the bottom half of the conference that are battling in, in, in those conference tournaments to try to get to the regional. So that that that's how it helps the lower tier of their conferences. But the top the top guys in those conferences, the, the, the conference tournament is, is just another weekend. Wow. And, and you talked about Pine Bluff, and you, and you talked about uh, uh, Texas Southern. Do you see the swag being a little bit more difficult next year, being, being, being more competitive? I, I think so, because we, we have, um, for us being such a young team, all of these guys coming back, um, I think um, Texas Southern, they, they returned most of those guys because that was a fairly new team mm -hmm. um, outside of the two guys that they, they, they pitched. So it, it's going to be competitive. The coaching is better. And once the coaching is better and, and, and the, the institutions are investing more in, into baseball, um, we're, we're, you know, we're really the only sport in the conference that consistently beat teams outside the conference. You know, and it happens league-wide uh, all the time from all of our teams that, that we'll win games outside the conference. So they, that, that's, that's, that tells you the, the strength, and that's always something I push when an advisory committee, that you've got to see our teams. You've got to respect them. So. Well, Coach, I'll tell my hat to you, man. I mean, you're out there, you're cutting the grass, you're doing all of this, and then, you know, the facilities are not at top notch, but you still manage to have winning teams each and every year, man, and congratulations to you on that. And I really appreciate you coming in each and every week to give us updates on Jackson State baseball. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. This is Coach Omar Johnson. Stay with us more Metro Morning Live after the break. Did you know Home Appliance and